Hello friends, I welcome you to this class. To this class, I want to show you how you can convert continuous data to categorical data. By continuous data, I mean data that have been measured at an interval or at ratio level. Categorical data, I mean data that have been measured at, at nominal or at interval levels. Now, okay, there are numerous examples like each that's the continuous data can be converted to categorical data then you have your each group you can have income that's the continuous data that can be converted to categorical data then you have your income range and how can you achieve this purpose in using SPSS now look at the data before yeah the data before me is what we'll be using for today into this class this is each this is continuous data you want to categorize it, you want to convert it to categorical data. So how do you achieve this? Now before we do that, can you quickly look at it? Let's look at the descriptive information about this data. Analyze descriptive. Can you look at each check for the maximum, minimum, okay, the foot range. So let's see. So the minimum age is 25. Yes, that is why maximum is 82 years. Okay. Let's see the frequency for the customer that are 25 years of age, uh, 407 at the highest, that is 40.9%. Uh, followed by customer that are 75 years, followed by 82 years. Now, we want to put this into range you know, for me uh, for several reasons. Maybe we want to use it for comparisons and among other reasons. So, you want to convert it. So, how do you go about this? Now, click on transform. Now that you know, yes, click on transform. Select record into different variables. There are two forms of record here. If you choose into same variables, it implies the existing data will be re yes, will be replaced by the new data. But that's not what we want to achieve. What we want to achieve is that we want to record this age, which is in the continuous data. We want to have another one that is for the group. We want to have a category. So that is the purpose. So you, you pick, select, record in the different category, different variables. This is the data. Select the data. That is the age. Move to the right hand side of the variables. Customers age. Ensure that there's no space when you want to write. J. I mean the name. Put, if you put the space, look at what we got. What will happen is we now accept. So ensure there is no space. Eh? So change. So you can see that it has changed it. So click on all the new values. Now, where well, the category will be using, since most of the customers are within a range of 25 years, so we can use less than maybe from 0 to 25 years, but there's no 0. So you can put range lowest value. Yes, two twenty-five years. So that means I attach the value. That's the first group one. That's category number one. Add lowest through twenty-five. That means the lowest to twenty-five. Or you can decide to put range either zero here and put twenty-five here. So it's still the same thing. Okay. So let's go to the so let's go to the second category. That is we're using fifteen years in tabac. 26 years to 40 years that is category 2 third category 41 to 55 years that is 3 category 4 that is 56 to 70 years that is 4 And other values can put all other values can the same thing you can put it here or 71 to 90 years since the highest value is 82 you can do that or click all other values from cell here above 71 so that's fit category continue click ok minimize this let's see what the SPS can you see this is customer's age okay I cannot put that you are putting each group there's not age group. So customer age group. 
So since you have a decimal, you are okay, you are, don't have anything serious, so double decimal can put it in zero. Let's define the values very important. One that is less than equal to twenty-five years at two second twenty-six to forty years three forty-one to fifty-five years fourth category that is fifty-six to seventy. Fifth category seventy one to nineteen years. That is okay. So come to the data view. You can see it fifty six or so can read. Check for the frequency of the category that data now. Frequency. Now the former was continuous. Now we are dealing with the particle data. Move to the other side. Yeah, we don't need this thing with the linear border. This category data. Click OK. You scroll up. So you can see now we now have range. Less than 25. That is four seven. Now those within the age range of 26 to 40. That's 19. 41 to 50 years. That is 115. 50 years. 71 to 90. That is 260. 260. Yes. So this is how to convert continuous data to categorical data. So you can apply this principle to all the forms you have. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you can get notification for subsequent uploads. Thank you for watching.